Hello guys and welcome to a brand new career mode video. This is the third round in Shanghai, in China. It is pretty action packed, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. If you guys could be awesome note and give a little thumbs up on this episode if you guys wanna see part four, round four, round five, round six, and so on. Uh, all the R&D parts got developed. A-OK -okay are now on the car, which is awesome news. Very happy with that. There is like a random team goal to try and get 12 points. That's a lot of points. A serious amount of points. Yeah, just as a reminder, uh, the central under tray, we've got new pistons and a little front wing winglet or something, I, I believe. About the new parts and we're um, happy that they've been integrated into the car, okay? Good. With any luck, you'll be able to feel the improvement, so give them a try. Hopefully, we feel a little bit of extra speed. A little bit of extra downforce, maybe. I really struggle in China. I just can never, ever get the first sector down. I just, I find it so tricky. With the wheel, it was perhaps slightly easier, but man, China, I just, I can never do well in China. And with the slowest car on the grid, I wasn't feeling particularly confident, uh, to be completely honest. But the weather might help us out. Hint, 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 hint. Maybe, we'll see. Um, so I think we're ready. Oh, so that's a lowdown of what we've done in practice. Missed out on a few points, but on the whole, went pretty well. Happy with practice. And now we go on to qualifying. So, I didn't realise at the time, but qualifying was actually wet. It eventually goes wet, so we jumped straight up, do our first lap. I was doing a few, like, setup changes, but I went out fairly quickly. But the rain starts almost immediately. I'm obviously on the... Uh, the soft compound tyre, the red mark tyre, the softest compound we can we can use. This is short qualifying, uh, and it's not really any time for me to do another lap. So I've got to do it on this one. Annoyingly, I don't quite nail it. I just I just struggled with the rain, the lack of grip. I went for quite a low downfall setup, so I could try and improve my speed on the straights. But I think that might be a mistake. It probably was a mistake. Yeah, I just really struggled for pace. I was doing much better laps in practice. Uh, obviously, it was slightly drier. But, yeah, I just I could not nail this lap. It was such an important lap. I could have potentially been a lot higher up. It was very frustrating. But, not all the drivers go out. So, yeah. You see where this might be going. The rain really starts before. Really starts before. So we're coming around some of the last few corners. Uh, I believe we've got Butler just behind us, who's actually a lot quicker than us. Down the straights, that course India is incredible. So, so quick. Yeah, I'm just not nailing any corners. It's probably due to the rain. I'm feeling a little bit flustered, maybe. I don't, quite, I don't quite know. But we're seventh, and we stay seventh, which is actually not bad. Considering I have the most horrendous lap. Went out for a second lap, uh, went out on inters, and yeah, it, the rain is boring. There's no grip, there's no speed on this on this track right now. It's pointless me doing a lap. So, we stay 7th. Slightly happy with 7th, but also a little bit disappointed that I didn't nail the lap a little bit better. I know I had more speed, 100%. Um, yeah, frustrating, but there we go. The rain really did come down. So, Hamilton is 13th. Charles Leclerc is 14th. The grid is all over the place. Uh, Giovinazzi in 6th, for Butler in 5th. Uh, Norris in 4th. Madness. It's been a great qualifying session for you. Are you going to carry that momentum into the race? I hope so. That would be great. It's going to be hard to hold on to 7th because we've got very fast cars behind us. But I will give it a go. It's the start of the season. How do you think things are going to go for you? Um, I want the best team. We're going to keep on building. See how it goes, I guess. The weather hasn't been ideal in qualifying. What's your take on it? Uh, you have to perform in all conditions. So whatever hits me, I'm, I'm ready. It looks like you've really been focusing on research and development this season. Again, I really want to just emphasize I want to improve the power unit. So, yeah, give them a nice little boost. Appreciate your time. No problemos. 
it's time to find out which driver is up to the task of claiming the Chinese Grand Prix. We're here in Shanghai. We start a lap here at Shanghai with the long, difficult right-handers of turns one and two, the first of 16 corners that make up this 3.3-mile circuit. The incredibly long back straight provides the best passing opportunity of the lap with speeds in excess of 200 miles per hour before the braking zone of turn 14. Alongside me to discuss all the action today is Anthony Davidson. Thanks for joining us, Ant, and tell me, you were down in the pit lane earlier. How do you think the track conditions are today? Well, the surface looks clean enough, but I'm a little bit worried about the track temperature. It's pretty cool out there, which could give some teams difficulties when it comes to keeping their tyres in the right operating window. The cars out there that work their tyres hard and really put a lot of energy through them, they'll be the ones that are better off. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Sebastian Vettel will start on pole. Fantastic qualifying from the multiple world champion. And Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Norris, Devon Butler, and Giovinazzi. Scott, Gasly, Holkenberg, and Alexander Albon. Perez, Magnussen, Lewis Hamilton, and Leclerc. Ricardo, Grosjean, Lucas Faber, and Kimi Raikkonen. Russell and Robert Kubica takes the last spot on the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. I was hoping to maybe switch to the mediums, but I can't because this is the tyres I done my first slap on. And I'm in the top 10, so I can't change the tyres. The rain could be a factor. But now, the Chinese Grand Prix starts. And again, I've got a horrible, horrible start of the line. No traction, no grip, a lot of wheel spin, and I didn't go anywhere, basically. Yeah, we're already down to 12th. Back up to 10th. I'm just trying to go around the outside. And of course, I have the inside line here. If I can just get myself into a, yeah, into 10th. Good job. I was a bit rough there with Magnuson, but get out of my way. <laughs> uh, Replay to start again. It's just so slow. Also, we have the Claire and Hamilton behind us as well. Just got completely just surrounded. Had nowhere to go, so I decided to go around the outside, which was definitely a good call. A late call, but a good call. And it worked in the end. Yeah, very frustrating. Bad qualifying, really, and a bad start. Not the ideal weekend. Albon, I need that position. I believe I've come ninth in the last two races so potentially we can try and uh, improve on that who, who knows who knows but again i just don't have any confidence on this track whether it's the setup not enough downforce in the first two sectors it just it never seemed to gel i just couldn't get the speed out of the car i was struggling yeah it wasn't ideal now we've got lewis hamilton Stop. In a Mercedes, okay, right behind no, us. He's incredibly close as well. So, do I fight him? Do I try and hold him off? Or do I let him pass? Because our race is not really with him. He's in a much faster car. He's a much better driver. So, yeah, I think we're going to let him just go past, to be honest. I was tempted to uh, bet him, but... I mean, what's the point? He's in a much quicker car. I've given him lots of space. We're now down to 11. Again, what was I supposed to do? He's in such a quicker car. See, he had like so much time and space. But we did give him the space, so. Right, anyway, there's still a long way to go. That was only the first lap. Let's see what we can do from here. So Leclerc, he was up like, really far behind. And all of a sudden, I just saw him like right up behind my gearbox. I was like, where did you come from? Insane. The closing speed he had around the first sector was just incredible. That Ferrari was very, very quick, but he actually breaks down. So, goes around the first corner, a really good overtake on Magnussen, and I believe that's Stroll. Not quite sure. Um, but yeah, really good overtake on the first corner. And you see the closing speed. So, it's quite a reasonable gap there. He just closes that gap so quick. And all of a sudden, he's right on my gearbox. But Leclerc 
he's out of the race. His engine just breaks. I don't know what happens. It just... He pulls over. Just loses all speed. Bam. Gone. Nothing. I don't know what that was. Maybe electronics or hydraulics or something like that. It's not the engine, I don't think. Anyway. Right. Let's go slightly further into the lap. Max Verstappen has retired from the race. You can just see him there on the left. What is, what is this traffic? Why did Max Verstappen just pull over? Also gonna pit very, very early. The tires actually weren't too bad, but this was the strategy. So we're gonna stick with the strategy and get a little bit cleaner, get some quick laps in, and it may work out in the end. I don't know. We might have pit later on because of the rain. So I'm just putting two and two together and we'll see what happens. Onto the medium compound. We're now on to lap five. Albon is, in the Albon is coming out of the pits right now. We've overtaken Albon, so the strategy has sort of worked. But we're still in 17, because obviously other cars have to pit. Hulkenberg is going very, very slow. The tires are very cold right now. This might be a good opportunity to attack. But Hulkenberg is a, is a quick driver in this game. And that car's got generally quite a good chassis. It's not the best engine, the same engine as us really start pushing really and just get the overtakes done put, post some quick lap times and see what happens there's a bunch of people in the pits we're now up to 11 this is lap six so i see uh kvyat i believe uh of india which i believe is butler all in front of us is that williams as well so there's definitely still a few uh teams that have to pit still so this is in our final position. Do not worry. Giovinazzi is in the pit. Um, uh, Haas. Giovinazzi is in the pit. We're now up to eight. So that strategy has worked. Lap seven. Can we overtake Hulkenberg? That is our goal. Um, as you can probably tell, no, he has a, he's much quicker right now. Uh, Ricciardo is right behind us. But it's starting to rain on lap seven. Hmm. So it could be light rain, and that's it. Like not enough for us to change tyres. But let's get in. It's, you can see it's picking up already. Yeah, Norris is well out in the lead. Oh, going to change the strategy. Pit lap 10. Hmm. Oh, I completely missed the braking spot there. Whoops. Yeah, it's getting far too wet. We have to pit. Now, I don't care if we've got a double stack, we need to pit right now. Because these tyres are not going to hold up, it's getting far too wet. Yeah, Norris is in the pits, get out the way! Go! Double stacking, which is not an effective strategy to be honest, but I was not happy on those tyres. It was getting far too wet, I felt like I had to pit. Go, exit now. So it's not a clear yet, it's um, way back. Whoops. <laughs> I knew that. So we're now down to 12th. Yeah. But we're on the best tyres. Magnuson got in front of us. What a joke. But he seems to be a little bit slow right now. A little bit unconfident. So we're going to punish him. Yes, Russell is in 10th in front of us on Inters. What a joke. Got to be kidding me. Got to be kidding me. Okay, the stewards have now disabled DRS. DRS is now disabled. Yeah, because it rains, DRS is uh, basically turned off. Hello, Mr. Russell. You know, the break so late. Nicely done. Nicely done. Next up, Giovinazzi. Little, uh, replay of the Russell overtake. I thought it looked quite rough, but break mass and late, gave him no space. He had no way to come back. Solid overtake. Thumbs up. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Juvenazzi is our next target. Can we get ourselves into our our favourite position of mine? Oh, someone's coming stop. out. That's Daniel Ricciardo. Juvenazzi seems to be a little bit... He's not quite sure what to do. We go for a double overtake. Wow, up to eight. Yes. Perfect. We 
Ricardo was obviously quite a little bit sensitive on the tyres. The tyres were a bit cold. And we come out and just punish him. Here's a replay. Oh, the door just opens up and we go straight on through. Mmm. Lovely jubbly. Uh, to be honest, the cars in front, due to my double stacking pit stop, they're quite far ahead. So Norris is so far away. Um, unrealistically, I just can't catch him up. So we're going to skip to lap 14. All we've got to do is hold off Daniel Ricciardo and just get to the finish line in one piece and try not crash. It's starting to get heavier and heavier. The tides are starting to struggle. We're lacking a little bit of pace now, actually, as well. Can we hold on to 8th place? Our best result so far. Sebastian Vettel has won the race. Congrats to him. Started on pole. Uh, must have done the right calls in terms of pit stops as well. Well done to Vettel. Good, solid victory. So close to the end. Can we hold on to 8th place? Please. Please, please. This corner throughout the whole Grand Prix, just, oh, I just could not nail it. I was breaking too late, too early, not turning enough. It's such, a, it's such a hard corner to nail. Generally, I just find this Grand Prix hard. I don't know why. It's just so difficult. A little bit wide there, but we should have just the gap we need to win, not win, <laughs> to come eight. That's the end of oh, the race. We'll see you in part for me. Eighth place, round three. Again, not bad. Some points on the board. Not a bad result. Well, what a drive that was to take the win for Ferrari today. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? It's a heroic effort for any driver to race in conditions like these, and seeing them fight their way to the front was very special indeed. They were able to find all the grip, all the good lines, and have the confidence to get on the power to top it all off. That's what pushed them into first place here today. And here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today, and a stunning win for Ferrari. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. With that brilliant result, Sebastian Vettel secures top spot in the Drivers' Championship. Let's focus on the driver of the day. Anthony Davidson, who do you pick? It's got to be Lewis Hamilton. I mean, he pulled off some impressive feats out on the track today, even by his standards. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. The current championship leaders still hold top spot, that gap is getting smaller. Another team that will be satisfied with this Grand Prix is Alfa Romeo, whose good result moves them further up the championship. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One. Yeah, so I was just looking at the, um, the lap times there. So we came eighth. Pretty happy, I think, with that result. Could have definitely done better. Had slightly more pace. Double stacking the pit stops was not a good idea, really. Amazing Should have perhaps put in a lap there. early. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy. Your team must be ecstatic with how you're performing. Um, I think they're I think they're fairly happy. I want to get yeah, I think they're okay. How do you feel the weather affected the outcome today? It didn't damper my spirits. <laughs> Oh, uh, what a response. You had a close battle today, didn't you? I wouldn't say it was close. It wasn't close. I mean, he started fourth as well, so... Great. Well, that's everything. But generally, McLaren's doing pretty well. So I was tempted to hold out um, for more power. I wanted to improve the power train. Um, but I decided to go for a second wing flap. Just because I didn't have enough points for the... Uh, the engine upgrade, so I decided to put it on something, so I have a slight improvement for the next Grand Prix. 
So Sebastian Vettel is currently leading the championship on 51 points. Lewis Hamilton on 47 points. Leclerc on 43. We're currently in 11th place with 8 points. Fairly happy with the progress so far. Hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. If you guys want to see more, leave a like on the episode. And bye-byes.